Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. In this video, we are going to explore the concept of internal exceptions in Blue Prism. I will also walk you through a practical example to explain internal exceptions and how to handle internal exception in process. So let's get started. First, let's understand what is exception. An exception is an error or you can say an exception is a problem or event which occurs while running the process or object and it terminates the workflow without executing the next step or next stage. There are three types of exceptions in Blue Prism. Internal exceptions, system exceptions and business exception. In this video, we will go through internal exception. Now, what is internal exception? An internal exception in Blue Prism occurs when something goes wrong internally within the automation processes that is not due to an external factors. So the word internal exceptions, it means that occurs only because there is something issue internally in the logic or resources issue or any data issue, syntax issue like that. These exceptions are usually the result of issues like logical errors, data issues, unexpected conditions, resources issue, etc. Let me show you some example of the internal exceptions. We will take here three data item, stage one, two and three. This data item, let's say I'm going to put here number one and I have selected type number. This is number two, type is number, number three. So here in the, this is data st item stage three that we can say as output. Now here by mistake, I choose here date, data type. Actually, this should be number or you can take it text also. It has the automatic conversion here, so it will convert. But let's say by mistake, I took here date. Now I'm going to take here one calculation stage. And in this one, I will take here number one plus number two. And then I will store this in the output. Link this. Run this. So once you will run this, you will see here we are getting this internal error. Why? This happened because failed to evaluate the expressions. Number one plus number two cannot perform plus addition operation when the left hand value is empty. So this is the one internal exception. So it says that we are going to add the value, but data is blank. So data issue, right? Data is missing. Second, I'm going to show you another example. So let's say I have the value two and three. Now let's start again. And this time you can see we have different error, but that is also internal exception. That is because of the data type issue. You can see could not store calculation result, failed to translate data. No conversion available from number to date. So this is also we can say logical error, syntax error, something like that you can say where it fails to con convert the data. Third example, I will go here in the calculation stage. I'll put here number one slash like divide by zero. Now in this condition, we will get internal error. We says that failed to evaluate expressions number one divide by zero division by zero. This is the internal error. Fourth example, let's say for the resource issue, I'm going to take here one 
Excel stage. And in this one, I will select MS Excel VVO. And then here I'm going to open workbook. So open workbook. In handle, I will just put here one hard coded value. In the file name, so I'll pass here, let's say this path. Let's click on expression editor and then slash. And now I'm going to put here some file name which is not available. So I'm going to make this scenario. Okay, you're trying to read any file, but actually the file name is quite different, right? Let's say here orders underscore sample, but actually in your environment variable or somewhere in your data item stay somewhere you are just passing as a order underscore sample or like orders sample or orders hyphen sample anything so the file name is different or the five or the file is not available then in that case you will see if the resource is unavailable or the file not found then we'll be getting the internal error that says that could not execute code stage because exception thrown by the code stage. The given key was not present in the dictionary. Right, the file name is not there. So this is also internal issue. So this is not happening because of any application is any application is not working. Right, this is caused because of the internal issue in the code itself or in the any file is missing something like that. Now. We'll talk about how to handle these exceptions, like how to handle this internal exception. So in this case, we have two stages, recover and resume. So we'll take here recover, we'll, which will catch that exception here. So instead of throwing error pop up here, it will directly catch here. So recover stage will catch that exception from here and then resume will resume that so let's right click set next stage you can see here we got an error here but it went to this recover stage and then resume right and this is completed for advanced exception handling what you can do you can take a calculation stage where you can pass that error message exception detail to the any variable so we'll take here calculation stage we'll remove this so we'll be using here exception detail store this in the exception detail yourself create that right click set next stage now we have this error recover Re calc stage you can see could not execute code stage because of this error and now it's going to resume this this way you can handle internal exception or you can handle any exceptions by this if you want to throw a customized error message then also you can do it this one this way you can take a exception message and then after that you can throw this exception so there are many things that you can do here. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this video helped you understand the concept of internal exception and how to handle internal exception in Blue Prism. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. If you have any question or suggestions, feel free to leave them in comments below. Until next time, happy learning.